uh, I think it's time to start. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, to introduce myself. My name is Theophilos Eslanidis. I'm uh, the general manager of the Hellenic Fashion Industries Association. And uh, I would like to welcome uh, all uh, partners and participants in this uh, uh, Fashion Trends Online seminar. Uh, organized by, by our association in the framework of the TextMed Alliance project. The Fashion Trends uh, Seminar is a new activity that is part of the Fashion Restart initiative. Today will take place the first presentation of Fashion Trends and uh, two more uh, other uh, presentations will take place next year uh, in February and in July. We hope that this new activity will be a useful and helpful tool for the SMEs and the designers in the preparation of their collection. Uh, I don't continue, I'll just give the floor to Mrs. Venetia Kutsu, who will make the presentation of the fashion trends, focusing mainly in the autumn winter season 22-23, and the last inputs of the summer uh, 2022. Mrs. Kuchu is a fashion expert and a lecturer uh, in the Department of the Creative Design and Clothing of the International Hellenic University. I hope all of you to enjoy the seminar. Uh, before I pass the, the floor, uh, I have to mention that uh, the seminar uh, is uh, recorded and uh, also uh, to all the participants, we'll send an evaluation questionnaire uh, in order to have a better impact about uh, the seminar and uh, to improve ourselves in the next uh, mm -hmm. events that will take place next year. Thank you. And now the floor is to Mrs. Uh, Kuchu. Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank Mr. Aslani Distofilos for the presentation. So let's start our fashion forecasting that is mainly based on uh, Fashion Snoop's platform for autumn winter 22-23. Let's start the first theme for uh, uh, the season fall winter 22-23. Uh, the first theme, which uh, is Haven, the first seasonal narrative, comes from harmony, which is the uh, sentimental, uh, sen the, the influence, the design aesthetic influence and the cultural sentiment uh, of this uh, theme. In connection with the macro trends, rehumanize and time to heal, harmony aesthetics show us a return to the basics as consumers pare down excess for positivity, grace and healing. There is a mathematical approach to design that reclaims geometry as a means to soothe and heal. Elegant shapes and elevated colors make leisure wear timeless. A plea for comfort transcends athleisure to a soulful statement. Structural minimalism and simple fluidity are the key words for this design aesthetic. Harmony color. Harmony balances a delicate palette of milky pastels with grounded neutrals, while deep natural blue shades lend gravity. This carefully curated blend of contrasting hues work like an orchestra, balancing light and air shades with mature yet vibrant bass notes of purple and blues. A mix of light and shadow, air and earth, frivolity with decorum. Here you can see some uh, color combinations referring to the main uh, garment categories. Patterns and graphics of harmony. Craving a return to the fundamentals of design will illustrate the concept of softness through the use of fundamental shapes. We have soft geometries and tessellation, which uncovers a surprising range of creative modular solutions by repeating simple shapes to form profound compositions. Q. 
kinetic energy. Shapes here suggest continuous movement. Radiating lines serve as an update to the pleat. Visually rhythmic line work forms radiating creases, creating the illusion of soft vibrations. Equilibrium, infinity circles, interlocking details and interwined accents create a sense of continuously looping energy, ultimately instilling tonal harmony. Line work blueprint, lines, the most essential of all design elements with their mathematical precision are used in conjunction with light, transparency and color to evoke a feeling of movement. Visual eclipse. The mystical appeal of the moon, especially eclipses, reemerges through details that play with light and shadow, or graphics that emulate mysterious lunar phases. Weightless. Defying gravity, shapes that appear to float in air, draw the eye upward and create a sense of wonder. The seasonal narrative that derives from harmony is haven. It concerns elevated loungewear and evolves with a focus on sweater dressing on either neat sets or separates, emulating cozy armor. Draped styling applied to either woven tops or outerwear adds a dress up sensibility. The sense of touch is heightened through the comfort of knits and fuzzy or plush surfaces. Rounded edges on silhouettes emulate a relaxed attitude. However, the importance of ribbed knits signal a return to long and lean dresses and skirts for outside the home. The color palette here reflects serenity through familiar beige and gray hues, while softly saturated pastels enliven fall winter assortments. Here we meet the two uh, top colors of uh, uh, the season. You can see them here. We will see them afterwards. The materials. Wellness efforts are maintained in tactile and plush offerings perfect for styles with a transitional appeal. Knit constructions are a key consideration for base layers in dense micro styles and looser open work varieties. In particular, lightweight but incredibly warm merino blended knits offer a delicate next to skin sensibility. Outerwear materials blur the lines between indoor and outdoor comforts thanks to a plush hand feel and super puffed duva frameworks. Finally, supple cotton crepes and silks offer greater fluidity to the range with a relaxed or slippery drape. Patterns and graphics. Haven's patterns and graphics explore a softened tranquility through stripped back yet illuminated and simple designs. Classic checks and plates lean towards tonal, low impact compositions. Calming color blocks and ultra clean window pane directions for a serene approach. Slow color dyes with an ombre tinge create a subtle yet impactful effect across thick woolen knits and opaquely layered gossamer silks. Traditional stripes is into a new vibration as the lines echo and bend with the modern fluctuation. Florals grow with soft illustration inspired petals. The design details. Design experiments with form and filling as fluid materials meet structured design. Traditionally inflexible fabrics play with delicate drape accents. This dressing celebrates the cleansing power of light, airy neutral shades and wrapped details. Smooth curves replace sharp corners as arches open the way into new dimensions. We follow to the key silhouettes of, the, of this team, the blanket coat with the wrapped scarf collar, which is very important. The longer line tailored coat, mainly double breasted, 
and the cropped sweater with the micro rib knit, the exaggerated turtle neck and the puff sleeves that are very important for this season too. The knit skirt set is very important for this theme. The sweater dress that can be oversized with an attached scarf and the modified track pant, straight leg with raised seams and an elastic waistband. The slouchy jeans with a tapered leg silhouette, high rise and front pleats. The denim jacket is revisited in a safari allure with relaxed silhouettes relaxed silhouette, patch pockets and tie and dye washes, and the split cuff jeans with flared leg. Silhouette, stretch cotton blend denim with raised seams. And now follows Sublime, that is a heavens style that emits a more glam approach. Although the color palette possesses a meditative quality of nudes and saturated pastels, it's here where we explore the notion of dressing up for occasions again. In addition to sweeping puff sleeve maxis, a renewed interest in separate features, two-piece sets, pleated skirts and draped blouses. The prints are leveraged sparingly from irated florals to ombre. Irated florals are very important for this season. And the details push items into evening territory with revealing cutouts and feathers. We have some more sublime key silhouettes. The puff sleeve maxi dress with elasticized waist and scarf draped neck. Very important is the silky draped blouse either wrap styling or off shoulder. The pleated skirt. And the two piece set with pants or a skirt. Comfort, uh, sorry, the stru structure tranquility is a second heaven style, which refers uh, to a new office attire. When considering this new wardrobe, we draw upon core items like uh, the work blazer, dad trouser and scarf tie blouse. Here we have smoother color combinations and the basic colors. Traditional patterns like soothing plates and minimal stripes play into soft hues. Although there is structure through tailored lines, there's also fluidity that comes through in materials and details like soft drapes or asymmetric layers. Key silhouettes, as we said, is a work blazer here in an alternative leather material. The padded shoulders are a statement. The dark trouser also pleated in front. The paper bag waist is very important. And the midi shirt dress with extra tie details. The fitted rib turtleneck, the blanket coat, still with a scarf collar, and the scarf tie blouse. Finally, comfort zone is an emerging key uh, style for this uh, nar uh, seasonal narrative. As we enter back into the world, our clothes become our comfort zone. 
our home away from home, we seek out our emotional armor that leaves us feeling cocooned. This enveloping design inspires new contemporary codes that infuse comfort into everyday life, reinventing everything from tailoring to evening wear. Draped and caped knits and lounge shooting is very important for this season. So this is the end for our first seasonal narrative. So the second theme here, our second theme hideaway, our second seasonal narrative comes from the design aesthetic and the, uh, the design aesthetic refuge that influences this uh, seasonal narrative. Here is all about elevated comfort, functional outdoor wear transforms within a city wear spirit. Protection is among the most essential of human needs. Post-pandemic fundamental safety shows up in how we increasingly, increasingly want places where we can retreat and hide away from the world. Refuge first looks to age-old techniques and traditions, which are revived in a way that not only pays homage to generational wisdom and craft, but proves that their influence can look elevated and modern in their use. Next, adaptability and utility provide a necessary level of order to our lives, and while they are fundamental parts of stability, there's beauty to be found in precise lines, historical artistry, the balance of light and fabrics that are used in a decisive, meaningful way. Finally, comfort can take us to dreamy new heights by finding solace in things like the curves of caves and cocoons, warm minimalism and illuminated wellness. The refuge colors. Confidence and calmness can exist in the same place. Fairy shades of red and orange like scorched simmer and satsuma and jolting brights like oasis and jackfruit evoke natural elements. Steadfast neutrals like nimbus, serpentine erosion and copper provide the best kind of relief, colors that have always existed in our surroundings and prove that form and function can be the most comforting of all. Composure and tranquility also exist through frosty tones. Here are also the color combinations for different markets, as you can see. And then we go to refuge patterns and graphics. Looking to uncover linkages to our past, surface textures for both hard and soft goods mimic that which lies beneath the surface in carved out forms and aging techniques. As we take stock of our mental well-being, we explore how light enters through the darkness and focus on thoughtful illumination, using it to create a wellness escape in our isolation. Raw sophistication. Looking to elevate raw aesthetics, the juxtaposition between structured forms and rugged material handles unite to convey an imperfect elegance and rudimentary sophistication. Florals are used in this unique way and stripes are revisited. The best design thinking is a blend of all eras, Purpose-driven craft techniques like metal weaving or block printing can be modernized with the latest machinery, but still rooted in a shared past. We look back into our ancestral history and tap into ancient construction techniques to construct casual yet protective garments, fulfilling our desire for gentle preparedness. The ancestral repeats, the primitive speckle are very important for this season. Ancient medicinal remedies and naturally antibacterial materials lend themselves to products that promote total wellness and protection. Notable practices derived from Japan, like Kambo medicine, are celebrated with over 15 centuries of history. Taking cues from the Japanese principle Shizen, we welcome natural elements into the home so that we can live more in harmony with the earth.
So we come to our uh, seasonal narrative, which is Hideaway. Hideaway invites us to wild, barren lands, both for a sense of escapism as well as seclusion. Prim primal forests, mossy hillsides and cabin retreats become aspirational destinations to get away from it all. Having grown accustomed to a slower lifestyle, Hideaway provides lounge-worthy familiarity at home, welcoming warm sensibility. Wardrobes reflect a shift towards elevated comfort, embodied but neat dressing and lofty textures, ideal for cozy reading nooks and contemplation during the day and crackling fires at night. Layering for outdoor strolls, inclusive of furs and shirlings. Wrapped with ease, Hideaway encourages us to embrace our natural surroundings and allow for quiet reflection within. The color palette here uh, reflects warm minimalism, warm colors, inviting textures and comforting aesthetics that diverge from hard and rigid interior design concepts. Here we have in this color palette the other two top colors of the season. You can see here on the top. Hideaway materials. Driven out of the increased need for warmth and protection, comforting fabrics explore new textural novelties and waxed finishes for the season. Woolen fibers can pre pre precedence amongst the material range, providing a refined warmth in the form of shearlings, mohairs and blended fabrics, where textures are rooted in well-intentioned craftsmanship. Elsewhere, craft is also highlighted in the form of terrain inspired intarsias and intricate cables in imperfect yet functional constructions. Patterns and graphics for Hideaway. They reflect on cozy traditions and timeless staples, with vintage-inspired argyle and intricate designs offering a cozy knit option. Faded shadow plates continue to take favor throughout this season. Striped compositions find newness amongst ombre infusions and tactile details. Camouflage seeks a more approachable appeal through quiet brushstroke markings. Crafted qualities appear in complex. Nuded geometric printed styles complement the rustic tranquility of the slow and hazy forest graphics for a true escape of cozy seclusion. Skins, camouflage and map patterns encourage an explorer's land. Design details. With a noteworthy focus on outerwear, detail attributes shift to quilted surfaces as well as for trims. Crafted elements take form with sweater fringe and patchwork techniques that give off a novelty appearance. Taking inspiration from the outdoors utility factor scene with flap pockets, drawstring closures and self belts. Acting as an extension of the body, products come equipped with thoughtful and simplistic functional design details. Zip closures, belts and flap pockets. The key silhouettes for this seasonal narrative Maxi sweater dress shelling jacket and the shirt jacket. The key items evolve with a new intention to shelter, particularly in its preference for transformational silhouettes and the weathered materiality. Maxi sweater dress with mixed yarns or simple. And the sweater dress in general is very important for this season. The winter vest. Casual trouser with an elastic waistband as we saw before. 
elongate, elongated hems and the wrap cardigan with a fringe trim, very important. The slouchy jeans again in a relaxed fit with pleated details. The biker jacket oversized in a vintage wash and tapered leg jeans with front pockets. Esplanade, Esplanade is the style of this seasonal narrative and refers to an area on the outskirts of town. Esplanade invites adventure as an interpretation narrative of nar this is a way to do utility in a crisp way with elevated materials like shred and leather in addition to rigid twill. Cargos are also key, ranging from pants to jumpsuits, while fitted sweaters and structured t-shirts provide smart core elements. Sorry, I'm repeating some words. Uh, simply, there is too much noise from the road that I cannot hear myself, and I'm not sure if you hear me uh, too. We can hear you very well. Thank you very much. Here uh, we can see as key silhouettes the convertible parka, one or two tone with large flat pockets, the fitted rib turtleneck in micro rib and a center seam. The high waisted elevated cargo, the cargo pants are very important in all the markets. The leather shirt, with a curled hem, the cargo jumpsuit in a relaxed fit, shred or leather, with angled flap pockets, the structured t-shirt, very important, padded on the shoulders, half sleeves in utility neutrals as it concerns the color. The convertible parka again with a detachable hood. The maxi sweater dress as we saw before. And the cargo pant again. The glamping is the other style of uh, this seasonal narrative and uh, uh, encourages aspirational escapism to the mountains. The upbeat and lively color palette is inspired partly by, by varsity. Uh, varsity motifs and Wes Anderson film sets. Here, refuse in, refuge in nature is coupled with cozy comforts, often in the form of lofty sweaters. Preparedness for the outdoor surfaces on versatile items like the shirt jacket and converted, convertible parka, while patterns nod to tradition with chevron and plaids. Multiple pocket details speak to function quilted surfaces, elevate the glamping experience. Here the colors are brighter and in combination between them. The key silhouettes, the shirt jacket, bold wool, lively played with snap buttons. The quilted jacket, and the split turtle neck in an oversized elongated shape with ribbed collar contrast in boiled wool. Patchwork is very important in this style. As far as it concerns design details, we have lively plates, blocked chevron, and varsity remixes for knitted sweaters. Multiple pockets, of course, patchwork and quilted surfaces. 
Finally, the emerging style that derives from this seasonal narrative is the uncharted territory, knitwears with masked alt neck tops and hooded extensions, quilting and insulation offers that offers protection. Convertible and adaptive functions. Multiple compartments and hidden functionality are key. Hyper utility for jackets, skirts, or every item in this seasonal narrative. And then it's urban outdoors, the other emerging style of the season. The plaid shirt, styled as an underlayer or hybrid shirt jacket, the vest and camp separates, create a silhouette in hunting layers, is very important. Large quilted motifs on pants, skirts, sweatshirts almost everywhere. Sweaters for the outdoors, high pile fleece wool bouclet, utility pockets, drawstring closures, detachable hoods. We must create an outdoor lounge style. Finally, romanticized corp core And that was our second theme for the season. So the next seasonal narrative, which is synergy, derives from reciprocity, the design aesthetic that influences the seasonal narrative. Here we have sparks of optimism, cyclical partnership, new mutually, mutually beneficial relationship with environment. In a newfound appreciation and mutual respect for the cyclic, cyclical nature of reciprocity, we must foster new technological innovations and products that nourish and benefit the environment and not just the human consumer. We will go beyond biomimicry and use nature not as a template to mimic and copy, but instead examine how our actions can profoundly give and not simply take. Nature is no longer considered a place in which humans reside and use. It is a living, breathing be being in which we live alongside in the truest of partnerships. Colors. Reciprocity presents a lush, nature-infused palette. These biologically abundant jewel tones, tones are grounded with organic neutrals that serve as a foundation for hypersaturated brights, providing an eclectic palette with a renewed vitality and majestic spirit. The palette expresses natural world where both ends of the spectrum peacefully coexist and sustain. Here are the combinations for different markets, lounge, intimates, young women, active and women. Patterns and graphics, botanical symmetry, non-invasive, Human-influenced nature creates a genetically modified effect resulting in natural elements that exude a futuristic and otherworldly aura. Ethical luminescence, exploring the evolved perfection of color and the use of light in transforming hues in daylight, dusk and nightfall. Protective construction mimics landscapes in an effort to both deter and safeguard the wearer. In a quest for survival, organisms evolve in often beautiful and strange ways, creating diversity within their species. Building and creating in balance with the environment by creating ecologically low-impact human habitats through study of surviving artifacts. Messages that protect uh, show us how to protect the environment and very favorite for this season. Exploration of light brings a new visual dimension to product design, while practical applications of wearable technology create new emotional experiences. 
an holistic approach to producing combined sentient wisdom and sustainable craft by incorporating natural dyes and upcycled materials in which there is a cyclical and holy return to the earth. The seasonal narrative here is synergy. Synergy illustrates the fusion between natural and artificial worlds. Enlivened, enlivened by a rich and warm color palette, nature seemingly takes over with living high pile materials and patterns that borrow from tribal and geometric origins, as well as hyperreal motifs. Spaces and wardrobes become seemingly immersed in an ecosphere blaring lines between natural and man-made. Dimensional textures inform silhouettes with wrapped and rounded forms, while utility details are leveraged as a modern way to ground looks. With the natural world at the core of synergy, this aesthetic lends itself to sustainable and circular design processes, providing that we can evolve with innovation and respect for our resources. The color palette. Out of devastation emerges a sense of urgency to fiercely protect and embrace our land if we want to maintain its ability to inhabit. Scorched vignettes like volcanoes, molten lava and the hazy skies elicit a heat wave of warning, but also vibrancy and glaring beauty. The vitality of these tonal warm hues signalize an emergence of change on the horizon. Here you can see also the top colors that belong to this palette. Materials. In an effort to live in greater symbiosis with the natural world, materials evolve with sustainable fiber blends, biomimicked constructions and an environment empowered functional sensibility. Technical shells gain a more natural emphasis in Cotton blends and mix and match powerfully with petal inspired plissé and pleated materials. Shaggy wild textures whirled perfectly for high pile needs or recycled for furs. Finally, needs explore natural yarn blends, stretch fibers for an ecologically friendly stretch elastan alternative. Patterns and graphics. The pattern and graphics for Synergy explore a reconnection to nature while allowing a subtle infusion of synthetic biomimicry. Organic prints inspire the season. Overgrown botany, rocky ink washes and ragged surroundings offer an environmental appreciation all over pattern styles, tie-dye and camouflage effects and animal skins. A handcrafted sensibility creates an opportunity to re revitalize traditional stripes and color blocking designs with instinctual repeats. Abstract butterflies, blocked florals, and shifted dyes. Tie and dyes are very important. And all these mixed designs that um, remind us of Earth. Cutouts, ruffles, knotted pleats, also for the design details. Precision pleats and ruffles. The key silhouettes, the puff sleeve blouse with a mock neck, the midi pleat skirt with sharp pleats. and an abstract print application. The cargo jumpsuit, also we meet it here in this theme, in full leather and oversized cargo pockets. The convertible parka, the oversized sweater, and the second skin knit. Dropped shoulders are very important. The patchwork, of course, and the gathered turtleneck 
for the needs. Shrunken denim jacket with dropped shoulders and a self belt, the high rise skinny in printed denim, and the puff sleeve denim dress with paneled construction and colored acid wash. from buttoned. Botanical bodies is a holiday style for this seasonal narrative. Jewel tone colors enliven floral and butterfly motifs, while decadent details like ruffles and precision pleats are favored. Plenty of separates like the puff sleeve blouse and colored leather pants, while winter maxis are also highlighted. Here again, we meet the maxi pleated skirt, the winter maxi dress, and the colored leather pant. Pants are high rise. The puff sleeves are important also here. And the contrast ribbon that gathers the fabric. Knife pleats for the skirt block contrasted and angle skimming. The blanket coat in contrast inside out with a shawl collar and open front. The puff sleeve blouse with a mock neck and the maxi sweater dress column shape with cutout details. The emerging style for this seasonal narrative is row renewal, where wavy seams and curved edges on tops, dresses and pants, irregular dye effects and contrast stitching for a primitive femininity. Imperfect piercing and hyper textures applied to sophisticated silhouettes and tailored separates. Warped hems and unfinished refinement are very important. Incorporate rushing and gathering to exaggerate shapes. Earthen geological patterns are stitched and patched together. Marble prints and neat jacquards. Our last seasonal narrative, Rise Up, derives from pop design aesthetic. Here, every piece has a purpose and we must incorporate design imperfections in our design. In hope, we recognize the need to turn inward to find honesty reflected in products that embrace exposed internal structures and unexpected cutouts. Hope proudly displays fractures and scarves proof of a life lived and fought for in a visually appealing manner. The use of techniques like stitched joinery represent our desire to pick up our broken pieces and use them to create something new rather than throw them aside. Hope is an ongoing process. Hope colors. Hope is represented by a palette that is as gritty and brutalist as it is serene and upbeat. Muted neutral hues bring in a certain bareness, finding their balance with rich grungy tones. Here we have an inflation of brutalism uh, that is um, accompanied with these upbeat colors. Very important for this seasonal narrative and this mood. The patterns and graphics, modern constructions like architectural chain links and fused patchworks emerge, evoking a sense of delicate strength and bold togetherness. 
addressing the eternal to work towards a better future, design begins to feel more exposed than covering and disclosing the hidden mechanisms that support us. We honor the process of construction through undone but structurally sound design that stands as a reminder of patience and humility. Addressing circular design by implementing artisanal techniques into upcycling practices to develop refined newness out of existing elements. Shifted narratives. Graphics take on honest reminders that the cyclical healing process is all inclusive, involving endurance and pain as much as triumph and peace. Shuffled fonts plus branding applications offer a recon recontextualized message. Thoughtful design techniques honor as does the Japanese art of Kintsugi, where cracked pottery is fused using lacquer mixed with gold powder. Worn and weathered dye effects in softened shades evoke a lived insensibility and subtle strength. Stitched joinery, raw exposed stitching, stitching that is intentional in its imperfection favors hand quality over machine. Collaborative mending processes like darning emerge as a therapeutic way to process the past and preserve meaningful products. Rise Up is a seasonal narrative. narrative. Having sustained fundamental societal and economic changes, the dust settles and we rise up. As we embrace imperfection and conceptualize ways to reconstruct design, as a collective global community, we are inspired by the concept of rebuilding from the ground up and taking structures and reducing them to their core elements to assess how to put it all back together again. Here we find ways to reinvent tradition in a minimal sense with classic patterns and blocking. In this practice, we use the construction with lively pops of color to bring a renewed sense of energy to modern design. Techniques like patchwork and cutouts serve as a badge of honor for all that we've endured. Pops of bright, cheerful hues inject the quiet palette with a needy dose of light, reminding us of the promising world we strive to create. Here are four top colors of this season, which belong to this color palette. Materials. Renewed classics find a refresh for the season in bolder dyes and pronounced structures. Traditional insulated quilting takes on a more sharp effect, as does intars intarsia in blocked yet slightly off-kilter constructions. Imperfectly textured boiled wools lend a powerful warmth to outerwear styles, while classic ribbed base layers are tighter and explore lighter weights. Structure is especially important for the season, where it's best shown in classic 3 to 1 cotton twill dark washed denims and tightly woven resilient wool blended gabardines that both offer an authentic sophistication to the range. Wabi-sabi is a Japanese design principle and worldview centered on the acceptance of transience and imperfection. Imperfect design harbors a certain strength and vulnerability, both gently and relatable. The pattern and graphics for Rise Up offer a playful remix of traditional prints, exploring new possibilities, referencing classics such as tartan plates, window pane checks and complex geos. The designs take on a revitalized approach through patchwork construction and contemporary clash details for a fresh appeal. Color blocked techniques are also important here, from mended styles that showcase a reworked embrace of process to bold color. 
design details. Mainly the constructed parts, appliques, patchwork, of course, knotted details, cut out, and rushes. The key silhouettes of this seasonal narrative the asymmetric skirt, full length, of course, like we saw before, rushed waistline, and often it's a second layer over pants. The pleated pants with a high rise waist and turn up cuffs. The longer line tailor coat, belted with sharp angles and slashed cutouts. The sweater vest in a shrunken shape and a ribbed turtle neck. The second skin knit that we show before in stretch mesh printed or solid layered under the sweater vest and the deconstructed shirt with cutout details and pieced construction. The denim blazer in a fitted silhouette with padded shoulders. The deconstructed skirt in maxi silhouettes and inside out waist. The split hem jeans turned up cuffs with contrasting colored edges and high rise waist. Restore is the style for this seasonal narrative and offers a softer yet raw approach to the seasonal narrative rise up. Here we see looks that embrace soft deconstruction, set to a calming color palette with neutrals and gentle hues. There is some indication of previous structures in place through softly tailored items like slit pants and the maxi pleated skirts. Items like the modified shirt and reworked sweater speak to new styling techniques, while the elevated peasant dress adds a delicate slant. Here it's obvious the, de the deconstruction, the imperfections and the rushed details. The key silhouettes are the maxi pleated skirt again, printed all over, the modified shirt with balloon sleeves and the slit pant again, high waisted and front pin tuck in a slim elongated shape. The elevated peasant dress in a full midi shape layered under a sweater, the reworked sweater which is oversized and has patchwork stitching and the novelty blazer in washed velvet with boxy shoulders in a relaxed fit. We have artistic abstract prints, ditchy florals and patchwork flora. As far as it concerns details, we have fringes, the construction details, of course, and ties. Mending details, both in knits and woven's, and color damages. Transparencies in layers, in cutouts, and in placed. The constructions all over, the constructed parts, oversized parts, and layer parts. 
And finally, we go to the emerging styles of this seasonal narrative, which is called dopamine dressing. It is a, and is a youthful uh, vintage kitsch style that is emerging both for winter and for summer. Dollhouse kitsch is all about styling naive details like enlarged, often detachable colors and puff sleeves with sophisticated tailored separates. As the world awaits occasions in which to dress up for, glam options surface with separates and sets that offer more wearability. Bright colors accompany extravagant details from frills to feather trim. A return to glam and an optimism and naive prints. Empower messages and vibrant illustrations to serve to uplift, take center stage on graphics. Another expression that is bursting with youthfulness. Bright combinations and live and classic checks, while oversized intarsia motifs also serve up positivity. This strong uh, mauve color spellbound. In combinations with green and this burned orange and metallic colors. Saddle, a more basic color here for tailored items and knits combined with pink and khaki. This is a very bright red hue for dresses and tailored jackets, makes a statement. Satsuma, a hot color also, that is very important for outer wear, for dresses, and especially for active wear and all these uh, parkas that have to be colorful this season. Burst, for dresses, jackets and outerwear. Morpho is a, a blue hue for tailored items and outerwear. We've seen uh, it already in knits and uh, it will go on. Biome, the green color for this season, very important. And jackfruit, another brighter hue of green yellow is perfectly combined with blues and mauves and the sanctuary the pastel of this season that we see it in outer wear in tailored uh, items and can be combined with greens. And finally, calm, the last basic color that is apparent in almost every item of this season. These are the top 10 seasonal colors. So we will have a look uh, on fashion trends for spring summer 22 and we will visit the runways. So we will see the runway spring summer 22 themes. First, we have a 90s minimalism with monochromatic black and white, long and slender column silhouettes. Set to mostly monochromatic black and white, these column silhouettes are favored in the runways. Hip cutouts appear on both skirts and pants, aligning with this season's penchant to show more skin. 
minimal bandeaux and crop tops may they mark as well. What is important here is that we can play with different fabrics in one silhouette and that creates a, a kind of layer. Disco glam. All that glitters, luxurious satins and flowing chiffon maxis to glimmering fringe, feathers and embellishment. In addition to dress, party pants also make an appearance. The extra mini skirt. The pant is very important here. And we have to get to get this uh, glitter look almost everywhere. Flourish. A feminine and romantic theme that we will see also for spring summer 23. Free flowing maxi and midi silhouettes add movement. We have romantic Victorian frills and frothy empire waist dresses. The two piece set also frills, pleats, and appliques. Free spirit emerges another slice of the liberated 70s. It's a Bohemian style, especially highlighted in the Milan collections. The look here is much more casual than we saw in Disco Glam. Key looks are the crochet tops and flowing maxi dresses. Denim adds to the casual slant with slouchy silhouettes paired back to wrapped bra tops. That takes us to liberated 2022 summer and even far from this to 23 with mainly Louis Vuitton's runway and this expressionism that we meet in uh, clothing, in uh, sweaters, both in sweaters and jackets and even pants or dresses very important as we show also for this winter it will be very important for summer 22 and even summer 23. Garden party a more youthful approach to flourish ditchy florals and broderie anglaise are favored motifs on midi and maxi sundresses lively pattern sets jumpsuits and rompers round out the playful look. Great escape, bright prints, citrus motifs, bold tropicals, a fresh and bold theme. Cropped and bra tops transcend from beach to street and sets are featured. This trend, uh, uh, we show it on Paris, Milan, uh, London and New York equally. Handicraft, designers focus on artisanal designs. Handicraft emerges, as we show also for uh, fall winter. Favorite techniques include crochets, macrame, lace and hand knits for garments that appear as one of a kind. Knit column dresses, crochet tops, fringe details are key. An aesthetic that will continue also for spring summer 23. Joyride. 
This theme is a much needed mood boost as we look to express ourselves and celebrate. Trippy dye effects and psychedelic motifs inspire, volume, patchwork and cutouts are also common factors. The new prep style, mix and match ensembles that incorporate classic v-necks and plates in bright colors are worn in a fresh new way. Polo styles, the sweater vest, varsity motifs. Here is very important the new muse interpretation uh, with micro mini skirts and uh, crop tops. Origins signals a return to paired down design, natural materials and conscious processes. Linen is a key base material, while natural dyes bring the theme to life with imperfections. Imperfections are a key detail for both fall, winter and spring, summer. Other highlights include neat dresses, fringe details and draped or knotted techniques. A retro kit theme, lively color and prints, a 60s youth quake with repeat geometric prints and colored tops. Dior uh, brought on, run on the runways this uh, mood of the 60s with the mini skirts. Matched pattern and neat sets stand out and are a key style. Serene, pastels, textures like satin jersey, silky satin, shears and fine gauze knits, long and fluid column silhouettes dominate while select looks reveal a flash of skin with slits or cutouts. Wayfarer is a theme about utility and adaptability. Here we take a look at new uniforms from minimal twill layers to practical adventurer looks like adaptable outerwear and cargo pants. And finally, the Y2K. The bodycon mini dress is a major takeaway. Flashes of skin are favored on garments from cutout dresses to crop tops. Snug cardigans with micro mini shorts, metallics, sequins, Feather trim and pop are popular add-ons. Here is the emerging iridescent pop star. So that was the report from the spring summer 22 runways. And here we go to our last presentations, which is the must-haves for spring, summer 22. The first item that we meet here is the crop top. Crop top with knots, with puff sleeves, with shells, as we hear, triangles, or the faux shirt. Simple, monochromatic, or with florals and other patterns. The two-piece set either in needs, silk, crepes is very important, with sh sweaters, shorts, pleated skirt, monochromatic or printed. The bra tops.
with detached sleeves, triangles, straps, stitches, and layered either on the top or under transparencies. The max dress is either one color or with patterns. We meet it often with covered buttons, pleats, ruffles or embroideries, tailored items, a tailored jacket with pants or with bermudas is very important. We will see it in satin in soft contrasts with bras, with white leg pants, oversized, with slouchy pants, with shirts, bra tops or nothing. We have the puff sleeve tops with half sleeves or full sleeves, high neck, cropped, as we see here, buttoned with flowers applied on or with rushes here and here. The sweater dress with slits ripped with crochet material buttoned with knots cutouts or layered with bra top very important item for this season The high waist shorts or bermudas relaxed with exposed buttons, front pleated, like we see here, with paper bag waist belted, crafts crafted in jeans. and buttons. We have the camisole top with lace trims, seam work, feathers, contrast panels, ties and lace details. And the last one, the jogging pants, very important. The pajama inspired jogging pants, the neat banding, striped, with a drawstring waist in different materials. Silks are very important also. So to conclude, can you see me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, to conclude, this will be a very bright, colorful uh, winter and uh, uh, the summer will be uh, rather romantic with uh, details that are um, take inspiration from uh, historical eras, uh, from uh, um, our ideas 
uh, youthful um, ideas and uh, uh, all these uh, style, uh, kitsch and young style with the vintage hint. Uh, we will have maybe uh, five minutes for any questions. We are sorry that it took us longer as uh, we expected. Uh, we had some problems at first. So, uh, are there any questions? Thank you very much for attending this presentation. Uh, goodbye from me and Mr. Theophilos Espanidis uh, will talk to you for some minute. Thank you again. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. From my side, I would like to thank you all of you that you attend uh, this meeting. Uh, sorry for the technical problem we faced with the internet in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. As I told you in the beginning of my introduction, all of you tomorrow will receive uh, uh, the presentation uh, that was recorded and also an evaluation uh, questionnaire. Uh, please feel free to fill it. It takes you only two, three minutes and will be a very uh, useful tool for us in order to improve our presentation next time. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Theo. It was very, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Theo. Thanks to Sepe for this great uh, Thank you all of event. you, all our partners, all the participants. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, bye, bye, everybody. Ciao, ciao.